Hi, I'm Jelly Beal. Um, looking forward to the Dundee Food Festival. In over 20 years now, um, and I guess I love my customers, <laughs> the, the relationships we've built up. Um, I love the opportunities that are still there after 20 years. You know, it still excites me that there's still so many areas to explore and, and bring to Dundee. Um, I love the team that we've got. We've got a really long standing team that we've built up. And I love the support that we get. Um, I feel now more than ever, it's it's not really like about competition between sort of all the independents. Everyone's really supportive of each other, um, especially with social media and things coming out. I always find everyone's giving each other a shout out and um, recommending each other to other places. We started the cafe 20 years ago, about a couple of years in, um, I'd always, one of my main goals was to see Dundee in the national press because, for food, because whenever you saw these top 50, whatever, we never ever got a look in. And a customer came and I was serving their food and they're like, do you know that you're in the papers today? And I think it was the Guardian, but it was a uh, top 50 cafes in Britain. And there we were. And um, it's a tiny little thing, but it was such a boost of confidence. And it was just, yes, Dundee is in the papers for food. And it, it yeah, it really, really, that memory has always stuck with me. So excited to be part of the festival. It's really nice to have it all actually happening within the city centre. I think it'll be a real good buzz. So, uh, the event, we are doing a takeover at Tatha which we were invited to do, which is really exciting. And it's a dinner for 75 people, which we're doing family type sharing, uh, three long tables, everyone's arriving, they're getting a drink. Uh, this is sort of in collaboration with Campbell Gardens as well. So we're pulling a lot of produce from the Edible Garden. The menu is based around our cookbook, which comes out with Kitchen Press and that's going to be a signing happening there as well, I believe, after I finish cooking. Um, and because of the connection between the sort of art side and the, the, the sort of edible garden growing side, we'll be place, placing a real sort of emphasis on the, the visual of the food. So we're going to be really celebrating how beautiful the plants are <laughs> on your plate.